The following is an actual phone call from an AOPA member to the AOPA Pilot Information Center. Hey, I, uh, I'm based in Hanover, uh, Virginia, and I have a Mooney Acclaim. And I'm going to be taking it down to um, North Eleuthera in the Bahamas. Okay. And I don't know exactly what I need to, you know, get for the plane or radio licenses or whatever in order to be able to take it out of the country like that. If you are ready to trade the winter weather for some warm sunshine, why not fly yourself to the Bahamas? It is easy to do, though it requires some additional pre-flight planning. You need to be sure to bring these items with you on your trip. As always, your pilot certificate and medical certificate need to be with you. Make sure that your pilot certificate has English proficient printed on the reverse side. The pilot and each passenger must have a valid current passport. Any children traveling with only one parent must have a notarized statement of approval from the absent parent stating the dates of the trip. Per Bahamian law, each person on board must have a life vest. The pilot must have a letter of authorization if the aircraft is not registered in their name. Each aircraft must have the appropriate documents on board as well. These include the normal items on your pre-flight checklist, a standard airworthiness certificate, operating limitations, weight and balance information, and a permanent registration certificate. A pink temporary registration is not acceptable for this use. Each aircraft must be equipped with the Motsi transponder. Make sure the registration marks on the airplane are 12 inches in height and you have a permanent ID data plate. If you are installing extra fuel tanks in the baggage or passenger compartment, they must have a 337 form to accompany them on board the aircraft. You must also have some items easily obtained from the FCC and the U.S. Customs and Border Protection, or CBP. First, the FCC must issue the pilot in command a restricted radio telephone operator's permit and the airplane must have a radio station license. The CBP requires that you possess an annual user fee decal as well as notification of the trip through the Electronic Advanced Passenger Information System. A copy of this checklist, including links to each FCC and CBP applications, is available on the AOPA website at aopa.org slash flight planning slash Bahamas. Hi, I'm Mark with the Pilot Information Center. If you have any questions like the one you just heard, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-USA-AOPA. We're here to help. This video on flying in the Bahamas is brought to you by the Bahamas Ministry of Tourism.